Good morning, first graders. I am so happy to be back with you after a long weekend. It was lots of fun. Miss Anderson got to go to my cabin, and I had so much fun with my family and being on the lake, and I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend and found some time to enjoy your families and be with them as well. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. We haven't done this for a while for our greeting this morning. Get your hands ready. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Miss Anderson did scissors. So you have to let me know if you beat me or if I beat you. Let's read our morning message together. Hello, first graders. 5 26 20. Today is Tuesday, May 26, 2020. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We will work on letters O and P in our memory book. We are learning about words that have soft C and g this week those words are going to say things so that soft c says s kind of like s and the soft g says j kind of like j you will take your chapter 9 math test try your best you also have some fun oops sorry reading activities on seesaw today i cannot wait to see what you create have fun you have STEM. Be kind to one another. Hugs, Miss Anderson. All right, so boys and girls, you have a very busy day ahead. And I was on Seesaw, and last week we had some friends who didn't fin quite finish all of our activities, and that's okay because you know what? Sometimes Miss Anderson doesn't finish things right away either. So they, I'm going to leave them up there for today and tomorrow. So if you have to work on them, I would like you to make sure that you are um, getting in there today and doing all of your work. This one's really important. Make sure you work on your telling time one. Most of our friends have done that one. Um, and if you haven't done the measuring one yet as well. And then take a peek at all the other ones that maybe you have not done yet and work on those. The story problem one, this one was so fun to listen to your answers. I'll give you guys some I'll give you a sneak peek. I don't want to give you the answers, but some friends did a really nice job with this. So remember when you're doing it, you can kind of see from here on Friday, I put some examples on. A lot of friends did some really good drawings. Some friends did equations and some friends did subtraction and some friends did addition to solve them. So you can do something that helps you. Remember with these story problems there's going to be some extra information in it. So before you practice it make sure that you read your whole story problem through. That's a really fun one to work on. And then another one was yesterday, oh, excuse me, on Friday, you guys did a really nice job with this for the birds activity but there are some friends who have to do the second day on it and remember when you do the second day I'm going to just quick show you Allie so this is Miss Anderson's example so you'll hit play and watch it and then when you go make sure you answer the question and then you find some clues and finding the clue just means how do you know that that's the answer to the question so make sure you work hard on those couple activities today because you're also going to be getting some new activities in there. So it might be kind of busy on your seesaw, but work really hard and you can get it all done. I believe in you. And today, as I said, we are working on letters O and letters P. And I'll move that up so I can, I'll just get rid of my picture for now. O is for our class. So Miss Anderson gave you two sentences already. It says, our first grade class is special. We got to be together in kindergarten and first grade, which is pretty fun. And then there's some questions that I asked you that you can answer to fill in your letter O. And then you should have a picture in letter O, so you don't have to do any coloring for that page today. Of course, if you want to add a background, you can. And then letter P, this is one of my favorite ones. This is letter P. P is for pajama day. I did your your first sentence for you. In December 2019, we had pajama day. And you guys should all have a picture of yourself in your pajamas. And if you don't, you'll have to draw a picture of you in your pajamas. Because maybe you weren't there that day. Or sometimes Miss Anderson 
is not perfect and I don't get all the pictures. So if you don't have a picture, I'm sorry, but you can draw a picture of maybe your favorite pair of pajamas. And then I asked you some questions for maybe your second and third sentence, or you can write about what you remember from pajama day as well. So those are O and P today. And then I am just going to show you our virtual classroom really quick. One more time, make sure, remember, you can be clicking around. There's some fun videos that Miss Anderson has in here. Um, and those are just extra ones. I have Junie B. Jones today, third and four, chapters three and four. And then we're learning about soft C and soft G, so there's some videos around about that. And then don't forget, you can click um, on this to find all of our slides for our ABC letters and then anytime you need to go to WebEx if you have a meeting with Miss Anderson you can click that one. All right let's quick look at our to-dos for today and then I will let you get to all the fun learning that you have. These are the big ones. Now remember you might have some extra activities but these are the big things. There's the phonics activity number 30 working on soft C and soft G working on our memory books O and P reading for 15 minutes, working on your Unit 9 math test. This is the last math test you're going to take, so work really hard on it. And then there's two extra math activities because Miss Anderson wants to see what you remember about counting. So there's a counting by twos and then another activity called lots of ladybugs. All right, first grade friends, that's all I have for you today. Have lots of fun learning, and I will talk to you later. I miss you all so much, and I'm giving you a big air hug. Have fun learning.